So, yo, look, these energies are strong. They're really trying to bring emotion out of you, but they're being more malevolent now. They're being much more smarter and much more like sneakier with the tactics that's being done. So means you have to be that much more aware and just use discernment much more now than ever. Meaning do not fall for, you know, people trying to tempt you. This is an emotional vi uh, vibrational like descend. So you're lowering your own aura fields protection because people are going to try to innervate your aura field. I'm telling you. So you need that extra shield. I'm like, yo, I got a drink, but it's very crucial. It's very important. Now you keep your aura up. So you got to do these things. You got to be more. I ain't saying you got to, but I would just advise you to just look into this information. Don't just necessarily believe me. Always look into something and use your own discernment. All right. Never be naive. I'm just merely bringing a question. I'm asking a question to myself. And if somebody want to learn from it or view a different perspective of it, that is OK. You feel me? So look, I'm going to tell you all five signs the universe is telling you that you are walking on the path you're meant to be. This is no joke. You are protected. Look, you are powerful, protected and high vibrational. OK, so just keep your keep your shield up. That way you can remain building the momentum and raising your frequency. All right. The first thing is your intuition. If you are on the right path, you will feel inspired from when you're waking up. Your thoughts will flow readily. You will be in the right alignment, the right space to be able to create. This means that you are on the right path. This means you're waking up in your child side. All right. Pace yourself throughout the day and just learn to just use like your creative side, your joy, and your imagination. These three things are powerful. Joy, creation, and imagination. Well, cre creative side and imagination, all right? So this is like God, I'm telling you. Joy is literally you being your child authentic self. Creativeness is you being what you were meant to be, a creator, an infinite being. And then the last one is Joy, creativeness, and imagination. And imagination is you digging in and going down the rabbit hole, going through the vortex. This will bring so much more than like abundance and wealth than you can imagine. When you can imagine, think of it like this. When you were much more newer here on this earth versus the age of five, six, if you can remember back that far, eight, right? You... Remember yourself manifesting much easier because you were using your imagination and you didn't block it with doubt, a.k.a. ego. No. So once you get back to that joy, creative imagination, you get back in alignment. That's what we're moving forward. To. Anyway, that's the new era. So this next one is you may get ready. I mean, you may just really feel tired sometimes, but everything is worth it because you're doing a lot of stuff on the inside. If you're feeling like fatigued sometimes, like you'll work out. Or you'll go or you'll work, you know, six hours day lab already or you'll, uh, you know, do another hustle or some, something like that and you get tired. It means that you're doing much more on the inside than you can expect. Even your nine to five. I can imagine nine to five crazy, but I bet you're still getting tired because your body is changing now. It's adapting to the new five 5D Earths. So if you're adapting to the 5D Earth, that means you are ascended. If you're not, that means you're not ascended. There's a lot of people I know that if you mention this to them, it'll sound foreign because that's when you know that they're not ascending. They're just staying stagnant. There's nothing going on in their in internal molecular. It's not changing. It's not becoming more crystalline. It's becoming actually more dense because if it's not getting more crystalline, that means it's getting density. It doesn't stay stagnant, people. Come on, let's let's think. It either goes up or down. That's what I'm saying. You better be keep going up because either if you're going up, you ain't, you're going to go down. I know, right? It sucks, don't it? All right. The third one is you embrace the imperfect things and events like you. You embrace it all. Like basically you because you have a different kind of perspective because you operate on joy, creativeness and imagination. When you have that, like you can create anything. Look at a little five year old. Look at them in like dirt with rocks with the little smallest thing. But they're the most happiest and blissful. Right. Because they have joy, creative and imagination. 
Therefore, they can manifest. Therefore, they're protected. Therefore, that is God. Therefore, that is what everybody needs to resonate on for everybody to be cool. Whoever doesn't resonate on that, obviously, is going to have a lot of turbulence. It's just what it is. I'm just being real with y'all. Because that's what you're magnifying. That's what you're manifesting to yourself. That's what you're magnetizing. And you know what you focus on? You magnetize quicker. So, sever, cut, release, denounce, and send it back to anyone trying to impose your ore field. And go back to sender. Why? Because... That's they shit anyway. All right. This next thing is letting go of the past. Yeah. Real big one. Because that constantly is going to manifest the past into the present by bringing the past into the present. And you got to let the past go. The past. You got to let it go. It's in the past for a reason. It's not supposed to happen anymore. It was in the past. I know, right? I'm having trouble with that, too. That's why I'm talking that to myself. Like, let the past go. I'm literally telling myself, hopefully telling someone else, hopefully telling myself to tell me, to remind me to let go of the past. It does not help. All right. I'm trying to do shit to help me, help you, help everybody. All right, especially with that cannabis, let it go. It does not help you. It makes you stagnant and lazy. And then you become a crutch and then you spend your finances on it. Oh, man, I don't even get on that. Never spend your finances on marijuana. It is a waste. I'm telling you, never. If you're, the only time it's ever justifiable is if it's given to you as like, or it's introduced as in some kind of social gathering or something like that. You know, I'm just being uppity for saying niggas hanging out, but White people, social gathering, you know what I'm saying? Intermingling, uh, uh, intertangling. I'm just but, but, um, you know what I'm saying? So let go of the past. All right. This next one is you may feel, I mean, you may fail and fail again, but it motivates you to do better. Ooh, damn. That's a, that's a topic. That's a, yeah, that is actually, you're going to fail. You're going to fail. You're going to fail. You know why? Cause that season was meant for that. Now you succeed, succeed, succeed because this season is meant to succeed. You feel me? That's all it really is. I feel like you already know what I'm talking about. And synchronicities, I mean, I said synchronicities, they already prove it. Yeah, you like how I said that, right? Well, the synchronicities prove it because they speak how God is trying to relate to you in that moment. So if you get synchronicities, that shows you a lot, especially if you're aware of them and you understand them and then you're taking action towards them. Damn. That's powerful. So look, yo, that's five signs. Look, look, look like I'm done already, yo. I wrote down some notes for y'all. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. I got a bunch of more notes for y'all. Yo, I'm talking about like 10 strange things you experience if your third eye is open. I'm talking five signs all like you'll experience it. Uncomfortability if you're walking through the right path all along. This shows you that you basically, you know what you're doing. Like you've been on the right path this whole entire time. I'm saying if y'all want to hear that, you know, just... Stay tuned. I got some other stuff for y'all, but I'm saying that everything is changing right now. So it's either that you either ascend with it or you either decline with it. As the vibration increase on the planet, it's going to cause a bunch of things to happen. So like, damn, that to happen too. I'm talking about things in the cosmos, things here right now, things, but nothing thing in a lower vibration because that can now no longer exist or coexist in this subplane anymore because this, this plane ain't meant for that. Especially if you're trying to cause low things to happen on his children. And we know that's a no-no. Oh, man, I've seen it. It's not good at all. It's not pretty is what they call it. 